OK, here we go. Referee Gareth Morris bringing the two girls to the middle of the ring. We've got um, the champion, as uh, Marti Gaman. She's originally from France, now been fighting out of uh, northeast London. And Diane Nadim, I think she may be an Afghan. Uh, I, they can both fight, these girls. I've seen them both before, uh, Gaman, many times. I'm really looking forward to this contest for the British Welterweight Championship. Nadine looks totally unfazed, and you can see that she's warming up her hooks. She knows exactly what she's doing. And if anything, it's the champion, Gaman, that looks a little bit more tense. But none of that means anything at all. Very stiff jabs. Very stiff jab. But as I thought, Nadine fighting back, covering up and fighting back. Oh, oh, a short right hook has put Marty Gaman on the canvas. I told you, I told you that Nadim came out. She looked relaxed, practicing her hooks. And my God, what a shock in that first round. Now, Gaman does not want to mix it. Gaman, what her warrior wants to take it straight to Nadim. Well, Gareth Morris was the one that got touched there by Gaman. Here we go. That's Gareth Morris at his finest. But Gaman can, uh, Nadim can really fight. She can really fight, and Gaman has got a work cut out here. I mean, unless Gaman manages to knock down the team, this is already going as a 10-8 round in favor of the challenger. Mm. Yeah. Nadim uh, catches, um, trying to catch, trying to walk Gaman on onto the upper cup. But whether it lands or it doesn't, she's got the nous to spin Gaman around. <laughs> lovely, a lovely right uppercut there for Gaman in the clinch. Here we go then, round two for this uh, British welterweight championship between Melty Gaman and Diana Nadine. Nadine, by courtesy of the knockdown, definitely won that round, 10-8. So Gaman's got a lot of catching up to do. This is great action between the two girls. I mean, it really is, the two women. They're really well schooled. And Melty Gaman is being Admonished. Good shot downstairs from Murti Gaman. It's good inside fighting by both girls. It's hard to split them at this stage, even the referee's having a problem. Good job from Jamal. Yeah, uh, Gareth Morris rightfully admonished uh, Nadim for pulling Murti Gaman down, which she acknowledged.
very difficult to tell who's actually holding. Good shot by Gaman on the inside there. And another decent right hook. Both girls are really trying to work. Two stiff jabs landed. Another good shot by Nadim on the inside. So far, I'm giving this round marginally to uh, Murti Gaman. Round three of this title fight. A really well matched title fight by Walid Ali. I mean, it's really been a great, great show. Two well-schooled, well-motivated female fighters proving that they can match anything that the men put out. There was a knockdown, a, sharp, a flash, not a flash knockdown, a proper knockdown by Diane Nadim on Murti Gaman in the first round. Last round, I gave marginally to uh, Murti Gaman but this fight is there for the taking. That's good work by, by Martika Man. She's really being forced to fight here, and she's showing that she can fight. Martika Man and definitely fight. What I mean by fight is, is on the clinches, inside fighting, where the going really gets tough. Both girls are excelling. Well, I just get the impression that Matika Man is doing the better work on the inside. Although that was a good right hand there by Diana Nadim. Gaman felt that one. For me, Gaman is, is slightly dominating this round. All right, here it goes again. Good jab by Murtiga Man. That was landed straight. Now she's marauding forward, and the team's going to have a great right hook there. The man's definitely won this round in my book. Nadim tries the uppercut, but McGaman landed the uppercut. And then a right hook. These women can really fight. This is absolutely rip-roaring stuff here. Well, it's, I've got it, 20, 28 points each going into the final round. So it literally is. A 
right hand over the top by Nadim. She's trying that, but Gamal. So Gareth Morris is uh, warning Diana Nadim about use of the elbow. And now he's giving a lecture to both fighters to clean their acts up. Right, to be honest, you know, they're trying, you know, there's no intentional fouling. Well, somebody has to win this round. At the moment, I can't split it. There's a lot of there's a lot of holding and. Good shot by Nadim there. It was a nice right hand. Still can't split this round. Good right hand over the top. And I think the team is piling these right hands in, and they are actually landing. Uh, nonetheless, I can't split it. I really can't split this, this particular round, and I'm having them going 28 all. So at the moment, we're heading towards a draw. Well, the command's corner. I'm giving that last round to command. <laughs> 